Rivera knows Stewart's going to hit that monster open stance forehand and move her around the court. See if Rivera can go ahead and hold this, her fourth ad to open up this match. We heard a little come on, some positive energy. Let's see if she can maybe take the aggression on that first shot after a big first serve. Good wow. Ang good angles by Stewart, set that up perfectly and drove it home. Yeah, that forehand is going to be the difference today. Stewart's forehand is looking sweet so far. Has about three winners in this first game. Moving Rivera around the court. Rivera's trying to fight to hold serve. Back to Deuce again. Nice little trick shot there. Taking the ball on the rise, just smacking that backhand straight up the middle. Stewart looking to go ahead and get this break with the first break point of the match. Uh, Stewart getting a little bit more aggressive. Sneak attack there, put it away. And has her first ad. Stewart breaks after fighting off a couple ad points and it takes the first game of this girls USTA championships and will will serve up 1-0 and what do you take out of the first game Ivan I mean it look uh, it really looked like Rivera was coming out she would be able to hold her serve and then a couple errors and, and Stewart really took a tour yeah I, yeah I'm very happy with that game by both girls they both look like they're in the match right now they were moving a lot bouncing in between points uh, Rivera before serve Stewart returning serve, letting, letting her opponent know she's ready to go. Uh, I like the clay court tennis. They're hitting high over the net, heavy topspin shots, uh, a few careless errors, but that's to be expected for their first uh, final championship super national match. But uh, Stewart fought a little bit harder that game and, uh, and cut down on the errors. I was pretty pleased with the match, with the game. Well, it looks like girls every year in the 12s, it seems like you get bigger, more athletic, stronger. I mean, I remember a few years ago, I mean, you know, the 12 and under, you see, you yeah. know, little girls out there hitting the ball. I mean, these girls are, I mean, they're almost as big as we are right now. It's, it's amazing. And look, you, you just look at the, the physique and you can tell they're working out, you know, and they're really physically fit. Oh, these are top athletes, no question. It's just different today. Five, six years ago, the girls were a little bit smaller, not as conditioned. Now they have fitness trainers, nutritionists. Uh, strength coaches. Uh, I mean, these girls are, are top, top athletes, and they look it. You know, these girls are nonstop the best kids, best girls in the country playing today. 15 love. Wow, that's just a good looking shot. Stewart showing a lot more power with her strokes right now and moving Rivera from side to side and then putting it away. Yeah, Stewart looks like the stronger of the players, a little bit more weapons from both sides of the court, backhand and forehand. And uh, looks like for Rivera to step up today, 
either Stewart's going to have to make a few more errors or Rivera's going to have to be a little bit more aggressive in the backcourt. Now, both these players are 17 seeds to get to the championship final. I know you can explain that a little bit, you know, with the 128 draw and, and the seeding process, but um, the number ones and the top seeds all went down early. Swinging forehand. Don't even let the ball hit. Just go ahead and hit it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stewart's two for two with that swinging forehand. The, uh, yeah, it's just a great, great, well-played point. Moving Rivera side to side. Yeah, there's 128 girls in the uh, in this 12s nationals. We play what's called a compass draw. It allows every player to play at least four singles matches. Uh, so they don't fly from around the country, play two matches, and, and, then, and then they're gone. Uh, they get to play uh, their competitors four times. They're here for a minimum four days. And what we do is we see the top 16 players, and then the next 16 highest ranked players are all seated 17. They're alphabetically seated uh, to go ahead and place, separate them in the draws. And it turns out that the two finalists today are the 17 seeds. Stewart made a careless unforced error this, this last point looking to maybe go ahead and compose herself to go ahead and get on the aggression to, to stamp a break. And Stewart goes up to love here in the first set. Best of three for the girls' 12s championship for that coveted gold ball. And we'll see if Christina Rivera now can get back in this match and, and hold serve. We'll be back with more of the girls' 12s national championships from beautiful Delray Beach, Florida, right after this timeout. Stewart continued to dominate Rivera early with two breaks and a five love first set lead. Katarina Stewart serving up five love here in the first set. Best of three. The girls 12's national championships. 15 love. Totally in control right now. A couple breaks and looking very dominant right now. But this is the first set. And Rivera's going to have to do some soul searching here in a second set. She wants to get back in this match to get a chance to win a gold ball. Yeah, this is two out of three sets. This match is definitely not over by any means. Stewart's without a doubt in control of this first set, playing strong tennis, forcing Rivera to make some careless, unnecessary errors. We'll see what happens this game, but when this set is over, Rivera has to get back in and stay positive and get back to her game of just grinding her opponents down. 